So we've done it. The supercomputer figured it out. The economy can be efficiently organized and achieve Pareto efficiency using the information available to the computer. It's got its model or its, uh, you know, utility function representation of everyone's preferences, it takes that information, makes some indifference curves, calculates the slope, and now it's got the marginal rate of substitution for everybody across every possible good. It's got information about producing technology. It uses that to figure out isoquants, about how to use capital and labor, figures out the slope of those, and it's got the marginal rate of technical substitution. It uses all that to figure out efficiently the production possibilities frontier of the economy, which, it does, uh, which gives it the marginal rate of transformation, the trade-off it can make between different goods in the economy. Given all that information, it just needs to satisfy these three criteria. Input efficiency, that ensures that it's using all of its capital and labor and any other inputs efficiently so that there's no way to shuffle them around, move some here, make some trades, and increase the output of some good without making a sacrifice somewhere else. Second, it uses its information about preferences to ex uh, achieve exchange efficiency. And that means that no one in the economy can be made better off by doing a little bit of trading, giving up one good for some more of another good from somebody else. Everybody is at a situation where their position cannot be improved given the, out, uh, the you know, set of goods that are produced by the economy. And we've got output efficiency, the marginal rate of transformation. So the possible exchanges the economy can make are equal to the marginal rate of substitution. So nobody can be made better off by having the economy refocus its production away from food to shelter or shelter to food or so on. Those three criteria together give us Pareto efficiency. Uh, this minimum criteria that we've uh, set up that the economy certainly has to achieve that. And the supercomputer did it with just information. It didn't have to use markets. Uh, and so it seems like everything's great. We've done it. Problem solved. Pack up and go home. Well, maybe not. There are some problems with using this kind of approach to organizing an economy. Let's turn to those next.